Welcome to the rigging tutorial for Martin Audio's Wavefront Precision Mini. In this video, we will be covering how to rig WPM in a flying configuration. Before you begin to rig Wavefront Precision Arrays, use Display Software to calculate the inter-cabinet angles, acoustic shape, and array aim, as well as ensuring the mechanical safety of the array you intend to deploy is safe. Remove the WPM SX Grid T from its flight case and position the flying frame under the rigging point ready to be used. Connect the shackle to the flying frame in the hole position as suggested in your display file. Connect the hook to the shackle and raise. To begin rigging a WPM array, tip the flight case on its skids with the wheels facing you. Remove the flight case lid and place the flight case under the flying point. WPM has three rigging points, two at the front and one at the rear of the cabinet. Position the flying frame on the top cabinet, placing the green front grid positions over the front two rigging points of the WPM enclosure. Insert the link pins at the front positions on each side of the cabinet. Remove the flying pin holding the rear drop down link in its part position on the grid. Link the rear drop down bar to the rear rigging point on the first cabinet using the uppermost link hole. The flying grid has a series of numbered holes allowing an array to be flown from a single point. Your display file will show which hole to use to obtain the desired aim angle of the array. Please check all pins are fully inserted, ensuring the connection between the flying grid and cabinet is secure. Fly the first four WPM cabinets straight out the flight case, raising the array to a comfortable working height ready to set the cabinet angles. In this example, the angles between the first four cabinets are all set to 0.5 degrees, which is how they are transported in their flight case. You can now set the angles between each individual cabinet, ensuring they match the angles found in the rigging tab provided in your display project. Replace the flight case lid and wheel the flight case away to a safe storage position. Position the flight case containing the next set of four cabinets below the array. Tip the flight case onto its skids with the wheels facing you and remove the flight case lid. Remove the front flying pins from cabinet four. Lower the first four cabinets onto the front points of the fifth cabinet, ensuring the grills are aligned, allowing you to insert the fly pin to link the cabinets on the front two points. The rear drop down from cabinet 4 to 5 should be fixed at the inter cabinet angle as suggested in your display project file. Once the angle is fixed, the array can be lowered to allow the now fixed angle drop link from cabinet 4 to connect to the uppermost link hole of cabinet 5. You can now fly the rest of the array straight out of the flight case ensuring we are at a comfortable working height to set the array angles and attach the cables. Replace the flight case lid and wheel the flight case away to a safe storage position. The cabinets are easily lifted to line up to the appropriate inter-cabinet angle. Please remember to set the inter-cabinet angles as indicated in your display project file. We can now fly the array to trim as suggested in the display project. With the array at a comfortable working height, reset all angles of the first four cabinets back to 0.5 degrees ensuring the drop links stay connected so not to let the boxes come apart. Position the flight case under the array, tipping the flight case on its skids with its wheels facing you and remove the flight case lid. Lower the last four cabinets directly into the flight case, ensuring your hands are clear. Remove the pin from link hole on cabinet five, then remove the angle pin from cabinet four. This will allow the rear drop down link to be placed back into position ready for transportation. Next, remove the front two pins from the front rigging points between cabinets four and five. Raise the top four cabinets away from the bottom four, now in the flight case. Place the lids back on the flight case ready for transportation. With the last four cabinets at a comfortable working height, reset all the angles back to 0.5 degrees, ensuring the drop links stay connected so not to let the boxes come apart. Lower the last four cabinets directly into the flight case, ensuring hands are clear.
Remove the rear link pin from the grids drop down link to the uppermost link hole of the top cabinet. This will allow the rear drop down link to be stowed back into the green position ready for transportation. Remove both pins from the front rigging positions and stow in the correct position on the flying grid. Raise the flying grid away from the flight case, allowing you to place the lid back on the flight case ready to be transported. Lower the flying grid down onto a surface or flight case, allowing you to remove the hook from the shackle and the frame. 